Alright guys, welcome back to uh, Ethan's Custom Lures, and today we're going to be doing a little lure painting video. Um, this is going to be a pretty simple video. We're going to be painting um, using these three colors right here, only three colors, and this pearl white is just going to be a base coat. So um, it's going to be a pretty simple pattern, so if you're new to lure painting, this will be a great one for you to paint. Um, the lure blank we're going to be using today is this like bait fish looking thing. I think I got this on Amazon somewhere. If I can uh, find it, I'll make sure to link it in the description. But um, this is the uh, lure blank we'll be using today. And we're just going to be painting it using these three colors. So I'm going to stop rambling and we'll get into the lure paint. Alright guys, so we got my handy dandy cardboard box set up. I think this is really just a cheap and simple, effective way to uh, keep paint off of things you don't want paint on. But this lure blank is kind of like a bait fish. So it's got this shiny... Uh, I don't know, like foil looking thing on the inside. So I'm going to want to keep this for the most part showing on the outside of the, the lure. Um, this is actually a twitch bait. And so the first thing we're going to do, I say we're going to kind of do a base coat of white. I'm just going to use this pearl white here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go only around the eyes, the back and the bottom and maybe fade it on the sides a little bit so you don't get the um, just a hard line. But we're only going to be doing that. I don't want to cover this foil part up. So first thing we're going to do, base coat. All right, so we got a little bit of pearl white loaded up in the gun. And I've got the um, nozzle on my gun set pretty low. Um, you know, if you've watched me before, I like to test it on my cardboard. But let's get this first coat in. We'll probably do two or three just to make sure we got good coverage. But let's get this first coat of white in. And remember, not doing the whole thing, just around the eyes and the bottom. Alright, so as you can see, it's spraying very wet and getting pulled up, so we're going to hit it with the hairdryer, and looks like we might be doing just a few more coats than two or three, since they're going to be very light coats. Alright, let's get us a second coat in. All right, so this is starting to look a lot better. Um, so we'll hit this with the hairdryer. And the reason I'm doing this base coat of white is just so that I can get my other two accent colors to stand out a little bit more um, and pop and be a little bit brighter. So let's hit this with the hairdryer and we'll move on to the next color. All right, I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna do one more coat of white just to make sure that the white is on there good. So, do that. All right, guys, I think that looks pretty good. Um, so hit, heat set this with the uh, hairdryer, and then we'll move on to our next color, which will be this scarlet red. So let's do that. All right, so the next color we're going to be using is the scarlet red Magic Fly paints. I like these airbrush paints. I'll say my favorite are definitely the Createx, but uh, these Magic Fly ones work very well. So we've just got a little bit loaded into the gun and we're going to be doing it right on this uh, front gill plate and then uh, maybe on the bottom just a little bit. Um, but just basically doing where the eyes are and where the gill plate is. So let's do that first. All right, first coat. Okay. Looks pretty good for that side. Hit the top just the tiniest bit, just to meet up with everything else, and we'll do the same on the bottom. Just 
Okay, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So we'll hit it with the hairdryer and then we'll do another color or coat. My bad. All right, we're just gonna get a little bit more on there just to make sure it's on there nice and solid. Make sure it's a deep, nice red. Nice deep red, so I'm thinking that looks really good. And then we'll heat set this and move on to the next color this time, which will be our Createx line. All right, so our next color is just gonna be this pearlized lime from Createx. Um, favorite set of paints right here. I only have a few, but they're my favorite um, uh, airbrush paints to use. And so all where we did that white earlier, so the top of the back and then the bottom, we're going to now do in this green and we're going to fade it just a little bit down um, on the shiny part of it. But we're trying to keep this looking kind of like a bait fish. And so we're going to hit this top real quick and then the bottom and then we'll see where we have to go from there. Okay, there was some leftover red in the gun. Alright guys, so a tip while painting is that if you don't clean your gun out all the way, there'll be some leftover red. So there's some red right there, I'm going to have to wipe that off and make sure it gets super dry because if not, it'll start running all over the bait. So make sure you get your airbrush really clean. If you'd like to see a video, I know this kind of sounds bad since I just messed up, but if you'd like to see a video on how I do my, or how I clean my airbrush in between colors, uh, just let me know and I'll make sure to get y'all a video of that. But wipe this off and then we'll start on the That's one nice thing about airbrush paints is you can literally just wipe them off like it just came right off. And even the stuff that's dried on there, you can just take it right off. So if you mess up, don't feel worried because it can always come back off. And at the front, I'm just going to try and fade this red into the green, or green into the red, whichever way. Hit this bottom. Kind of hard to hit this bottom. All right, so I think that looks pretty good right now. Um, I'm going to heat set this, and then we'll do another coat and maybe work it down the size just a little bit. And one thing I'm going to do, just so I can get the bottom a little better, is just unclip it a little bit. It might flap around with the wind, but I don't think it should. So let's get this second coat on and we'll fade it down the sides just a little. And then we can flip it out right there to the top. And we're gonna take it down the sides just a tiny bit. Alright, there you have it. That is pretty much our finished product. I think that looks really cool, and it was very simple. Um, you do not have to have much skill to do this. It's just drawing a few lines with your airbrush and just putting some color on. I mean, it's really effective, and I know I'm going to get a bunch of grief about it looking just like the Rapala, but I think those colors really work well. I thought this would work really well for it, so... Uh, Thank you guys for watching. We'll get some eyes on and then we'll uh, get you some final shots. I want to thank you guys for watching just again. Um, make sure to subscribe. I would really, it would really uh, appreciate it if you could do that for me. Um, it really helps me grow and I could start doing a lot more, uh, I guess you could say, complicated patterns. And uh, also let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see coming from me. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We'll get some eyes on and get you some final shots.